what I believe, and th this is basically Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you're familiar, if you in college took psychology 101, you're probably familiar with this, but to get to higher level things, to get to higher order things, you have to accomplish the things underneath it, right? So the, there is kind of like building blocks on life, right? And at the lowest level is the basic needs just to live, just to survive, right? So food and water and shelter. So the idea is that you have to secure things on that bottom level and then once you secure those things, then you can go to the next level and then you can go to the next level and you keep basically what I call leveling up, right? You keep leveling up until you get to a point that you just have uh, accomplished or or received uh, just, you know, basically high, high level things in your life. And so I think sometimes we forget uh, you know, we, we, we look for the things that maybe are, are far reaching and, 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 you know, I want that now. I want that now. We forget the steps underneath it, right? And for me, I am always trying to be mindful that to get to that big stage, to get to those big things, to get to those dreams that I want, I got to, to make sure that that's successful, I got to make sure to get that uh, to do these things underneath it and and I got to go in a step by step by step accomplishing like Super Mario Brothers one level at a time, right? Because here's the thing, at some point you might be you might accomplish whatever it is. You might get to that place in your life, but if you haven't accomplished those things underneath it, kind of like the prerequisites, right? If you haven't accomplished those things, you'll fall because you won't be able to sustain whatever energy, whatever those needs are for those higher level things. So I want you to be mindful. I want you to be mindful before you just go out and try to get those big things. Be mindful of doing those smaller things first, step by step by step, and just keep building in life. Just keep building until you get to that place. You gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. There's a lot of patience. There's a lot of self-discipline in this because you can go out and you can get that, but you're gonna fall, okay? Um, so I think part of this discussion also needs to be not only steps in life, but your own well-being and your own mental health, right? If you're struggling on a day-to-day -day basis, and you're trying to also accumulate or get to those big places, well, this, those are going to take you being really um, in flow. Those are going to take you being able to manage uh, yourself, your emotions, your thoughts. Those higher level things are going to take high, high uh, just ability to do uh, those things. And so if you are not able, if you're struggling on a day-to-day -day basis and you're going like this and you try to go out and try to get those big things, um, then you're going to struggle even more. And that's going to create a lot of inconsistency, which is going to make you fail and you're going to fall. And it's going to be kind of like this vicious cycle of starting and stopping, starting and stopping. So for you, what I encourage, I encourage you uh, to take care of your mental health, to take care of your mental health and get your thoughts and emotions and behaviors regulated. Get yourself regulated as part of the process of gaining and succeeding in life. Your mental health is just as important as everything else, right? If you can't take care of your mental health, you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall as you start climbing that ladder of success and achievement and gaining materials, whatever it would be, cars, jewelry, houses, whatever it would be. If you can't take care of your mental health, then that's all gonna be taken from you. And life, life will show you, life will show you that you can't get to those top stages. You can't get, you can't climb, you can't get to the fourth, fifth, sixth step until you do the first, second, third. That's just life in its own way will knock you down. All right, y'all? This is something I really live by and really trying to put into play in my own life right now. I tend to see the shiny object and I'll go after it, but I forget. No, 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 Randy, you're not there right now. You're not there. Be patient, 
one step at a time and you'll get there but you got to be self-disciplined and patient all right y'all all right parents of anxious kids i am calling out to you i am calling out to you if you have a child at home that that struggles with anxiety i want all you parents if you checked yes if you said yes randy i've got an anxious child at home and i know i know so many of you do because i come into your house all the time then i want you to join us saturday june 8th saturday june 8th we're gonna do anxious kids anxious parents and i'm gonna teach you um how to parent your child this class is more about you and the parenting than it is your child right um and so there are things that you do as a loving parent i know that you're a loving parent i know you are you love your child you want the most for your child but out of convenience and comfort sometimes you do as a loving parent you do things that aren't cool uh that 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 don't help an anxious child and i'm going to cheat teach you those ways i'm going to teach you those ways and anxious kids anxious parents we're going to talk about don't reassure don't reassure don't accommodate and don't help your anxious child avoid that anxiety you guys if you can't join us on uh june 8th then uh you can get the recorded class we also recorded the class and you can get that class as well because i know summer there's a lot going on in the summer and you may not just be able to attend it live so either attend it live or get the recorded version y'all